Hello YouTube. In this video, we're going to be going over VoiceFlow, a bot press competitor. Um, yes, they have a free version, but their paid version is around $40 a month and you get unlimited access uh, for one workspace. So I'm going to teach you guys how to incorporate Zapier into VoiceFlow, just like how you can incorporate Zapier into BotPress. Um, I found very high success with VoiceFlow. It's, um, has high uptime, less glitches than bot press, so it's definitely something you should consider when considering your chatbot, consider making your chatbot for your clients. So I'm gonna start off with the new assistant, so top right, you click new assistant after you log into VoiceFlow, link is in the description for VoiceFlow. I'm gonna name it Savior YouTube. I'm gonna build the AI assistant, continue. And next single channel, I'm gonna select web chat. We have the option for Twilio SMS, you have the option for WhatsApp, you have the option for Microsoft Teams, even Amazon Alexa. We're gonna use WebChat for now. I'm gonna select the language. You have different language options. I'm gonna select English, continue. And then you can add workspace members if you'd like. I don't need them, so I'm gonna create assistant. And it's in a process. Now it's gonna have a basic template when you first start it. You can delete everything, so you have to make sure you're on trackpad. And then you can drag and drop. I'm gonna zoom out a bit. And then you can select everything, delete. And then we'll go back to mouse, easier to work with. And this is pretty simple. So you have the start node, just like bot press. And you drag it and then let go and then you can create a new text card and a text node. So we're gonna tell the user, hey, welcome to our bot. And then we can generate different variations of this text so it's not the same text every single time. You can generate as much as you like. I'm just gonna keep it like this. And then I'm also gonna add another text to capture some data that we can send to Zapier. I'm gonna say, what is your lovely name? And then we're gonna generate some options and then we're gonna listen and we're gonna put a capture and now we're gonna to have to put it we're gonna to have to create a variable so it understands where to store it so the name that's inputted by the user where's it gonna go how is it gonna remember so we have to create a variable that it stores it under that we can use to send to zapier later on so to do this we're gonna go into nlu model in the top toolbar we click it and we have the variables here and then we're gonna click the plus now we can add as much variables as we like we can separate them by comma so i'm gonna collect the name so right name you can make the variable name as whatever you like. Just keep it simple, name, and then email. That's all I'm gonna collect. So I'm gonna just add these two variables, and I put a column in between, I create variables, and they're both made. And we'll go back, and now we can capture, and we can select name. So now, once the user inputs their name, it captures it under the variable name and stores it, so we can send it to Zapier later on. Now we can add it to the next card. I'm gonna add a text, and be like, what, thanks. And we can even, Thanks name, what is your email addy address? And then generate some variations of this, and then we can do the same thing, we'll add another capture card, and this time we'll click email. So for the variable, email, so we'll store it under the email variable. And then we're good to go, and now we can move on to the Zapier integration. So we're gonna drag the node connected to an API card. So the API card, and now we need to Put it onto post and now we need the zapier rub hook and we need to fill out some information for the body so we'll keep this so we want to send the name so we're going to write name for whatever information you have just replace the name with the variable that you inputted so for us we have name so you put the name at the top and you put the variable in the quotation in the brackets under it um, and then we're going to add another one for email so e key is going to be email the variable is going to be email okay awesome Awesome, now it should be working. So now we can proceed just if the success, oh, success. Oh my bad, so we'll do back its name. We have sent an email to email. Okay, so now this is confirmation email and then we can deny. Uh oh, right here, uh oh, something went wrong. Generate some options, and now we have to end it. So we'll create, drag, logic, end, end. Just like that, we're done. So now we can go into Zapier. I mean, Google Sheets. We're gonna create a new sheet. We're gonna create a new sheet now. I'm um, already dead, so I need to YouTube. I'm just gonna input the name the data we want to capture. So name, email. And I'm gonna go back to Zapier. I'm gonna create a new app. I'm gonna make a webhook. Catch hook, continue, continue, copy it, and now we go back to 
the API and we're just going to paste this in the request where it needed and now we're good. So now we we'll create a new action, sheets, well, sheets, event, uh, we're going to create spreadsheet row, continue, we're going to choose the account, oops, wrong account. <coughs> YouTube, I'll select the worksheet, and looky looky, we don't have anything to fill the name of variable under. So what do we have to do? We have to test the bot. We go back to the test, we go back to our workspace, and we click the run button, top right, run test, and we're going to talk to the bot. My name is Johnny, my email is ready at toronto at gmail.com. Success. So now we can just so it's dry, make sure it's selected, and now go back to the trigger, and now test trigger. And now it has information, continue select the record. Now we're good, and now we just have to go back to action. Name. We test it, and now it's done. And that's it, we're done. So now we can send a confirmation email if we like even as well. So if we go to email, um, send email, continue, continue. So who, catch up, the email that's filled. And then we can leave this all blank. We need a subject, so we'll say test from Body ready a test. You can fill it up with customizable information. If you guys want a video on this to send personalized emails using chat GPT generation, we can do that in a later video if you'd like. Please let me know down below. We'll continue. Skip test. Skip test. And now we can publish. We have to test this. We're testing. Um, we have to test this, I think, as well. Now we're good, we should be good to go. We should publish. Now it's publishing. Now we can go to temp mail. Get an email. And test it out. So we're gonna reset the test here. We're gonna get a temporary email. We're gonna run this test. Hi, um, my name is Alpsin the fifth. My email is this. Awesome. So now it should be in the sheets, which it is. Now moment of truth, we need it to be in the email. So we're gonna wait, and there it is. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want a more in-depth guide on a complex chatbot built inside of voice flow with Stack AI integration. Or if we're wise or length full integration with a lot of different tasks, please let me know down below. Hit the like and subscribe to this template. It's going to be in the description below as well.